Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here today. Before we start, we would like to introduce you the Politecnico di Milano student research team. Samuele Gaboli. Fabio Palumbo. Lidia Palladino. Riccardo Musetti. And Luca Professione. We are going to talk about UX. UX is a global internet retailer of luxury products. The success of this company is mirrored by its strong stock performance. UX stock price grew sixfold in the last four years. The company was founded in 2000 and currently operates two different businesses, the so-called multi-brand and mono-brand business. Within the multi-brand business, UX manages three proprietary websites. UX.com, which sells end-of-season luxury products, still generates most of these business revenues. In the meanwhile, UX is also a service provider. Within its mono-brand business, It helps luxury brands in building and managing their own online stores, providing them with its IT and logistic platforms. Currently, UX manages 37 online stores for high-end luxury brands, such as Dolce Gabbana, Armani, and Valentino. Monobrand contracts are three to five years long, and the company earns a percentage fee on the online store sales. In 2012, UX entered a joint venture agreement with Caring Group, and will manage the online stores of all of Caring's luxury brands, except for Gucci. But now, let's get to the point. Our recommendation is a sell, with a potential downside of 22.6% to December 2014. We believe this is definitely a good company, but a bad stock. After last year's stock price, three-digit growth, it's time to take profit on nukes. Today's price simply reflects two optimistic expectations, as we are now going to show you. Our first step is an analysis of the online luxury market and an estimate of its long-term growth potential. Online luxury market weighs today only 3.5% of the whole luxury market. This percentage is by far lower than the level achieved by other product categories. For instance, the apparel sector shows today a 19% of online penetration. In order to further highlight this opportunity, we show that in the most major e-commerce market, the US one, luxury department stores have already achieved a 16% of online penetration. Through a statistical s curve interpolation, we estimated a long-term penetration target of 12% by 2020, five times today's market size, 43.2 billion euros in our base case scenario. Such strong market expansion should provide UX a lot of opportunities to consolidate its leadership position, but at the same time, this growth could attract an increasing number of new competitors. As a second step in our evaluation process, we deeply analyze the multi and the monobrand business in their competitive positioning. UX is the only group that manages mono and multi-brand business at the same time exploiting important benefits from synergies and cross-fertilization. We consider it as UX's closest competitors, only e-commerce company in luxury niche. However, the competitive environment is continuously evolving. In fact, big e-commerce players like Amazon are not UX's direct competitor today, but we don't exclude their entry in this growing niche in the future. We did a further analysis of UX competitive positioning. This shows a lower sustainability of monobrand business. Starting from the point of weakness of monobrand, where UX is a service provider, we see important threats. In fact, this business is characterized by 30% growth, 20% ABDA margin, and almost zero capital employed. This will certainly attract the competition in the future and will incentivize luxury brands to internalize online activities. The result will be a squeeze on UX profitability in long term and a price pressure at the contract renewal. On the other end, we see multi-brand business more defendable. However, we find two important points of weakness. The first is the low rating of UX mobile application a more and more relevant factor considering the increasing importance of mobile commerce. The second is the need to increase investment in marketing to keep up UX.com brand awareness in long term. Now, the third step in our process consists in giving a quantitative valuation of market and competitive positioning. 
we refocus on the long-term potential, let's start to analyze the success of the company in its early years. Group sales have grown with a 37% CAGR from 2007 to 2013. After 95 million euros capital raised at the DPO in 2010, the company has always managed investment and growth as to remain in a net cash position. After the 2009 peak, return invested capital went down to 12% in 2013. This was mainly driven by the DNA increase following the spike in investment for future growth. Moreover, you suffer an EBITDA margin decline in the multi-brand business due to an increase in competition. Now it's time to put into numbers our market and competitive analysis. We have set our long-term assumptions on three key factors. First, online luxury penetration. Second, market share. And third, long-term operating margin. Focusing on the first point, our basic assumptions start from estimating a 2020 online luxury market penetration of 12%, equal to a 43 billion euros market. Regarding the second point, we kept stable market share, both in mono and in multi-brand business. Under these bullish assumptions, we have estimated a 25% sales CAGR from 2013 to 2020, which will lead Zux to generate 2.2 billion euros in revenue. Our long-term assumptions on EBD margin reflect the different competitive strengths of the two businesses. For the multi-brand business, we have optimistically estimated cost of margin to 2020. Given the monobrand business threats, we lower EBD margin from 20 to 12%. This is a more normal value for a service provider. Moreover, we have modeled joint venture we carry separately. Our main assumption is on the profitability level. We assume a long-term net income margin of 10%, in line with the average of luxury companies. In order to account for the high volatility of long-term scenarios, we implemented a discrete event simulation. Here, we show for each variable the values and the related probabilities for our worst, base, and best case. Combining these variables, we created 162 possible scenarios. Our probability-adjusted DC evaluation results in a target price of 23 euros per share, far below today's market price. Furthermore, considering the distribution, we can infer that an investor at today's stock price would have an upside only in the best 19% of scenarios. For our valuation, we used a WAC equal to the cost of equity till 2020, as the company will remain in a net cash position. We decided to use a levered WAC only for the terminal value, in order to embed, at least partly, the potential value per creation from a more balanced financial structure. As a sanity check, we implemented a relative analysis using both trading and M&A multiples. The resulting valuation are still lower than today's market price. We represented different risk factors according to their likelihood and impact. From a strategic point of view, increasing competition and failure in upgrading technological infrastructure are the main factors of risk. From a financial standpoint, we argue that UX is not affected by severe risk factor. Last, from an operative point of view, the major factors of risk are related to the logistic platform, privacy threats, and most important, HR retention. Using UX data about yearly churn, we calculated that the company had to hire more than 200 new employees in 2012. Yux has to create almost a new company every year. As a risk to our recommendation, we consider the possibility for Yux to create a private label business. Using Black and Show's theory, we calculated that this real option could be worth up to 2.7 euros per share. Even if we did consider this value in our target price, this would not have changed our recommendation to sell the stock. A good company, an exploding market, some competitive threats, and the current price already discounts only the best future scenarios, even under bullish assumptions. We hope we have been able to explain you the reasoning behind our sell recommendation. Thank you for your attention, and we are glad to answer any question you may have.